We are going to be building an adventure game. Your adventure game could look just like this if you would like it to a nice island village where monsters have taken over. We clear out the area, the gate unlocks for us, and then we jump to the next island and we have to clear out the enemies on each island before we can advance to the next one. Or if you want something a little different, your game can look like this where we have a prison world, where we have to defeat the goblins, collect coins. We've got a completely different tile map and prop set up for this game, but everything is available in the asset pack that you can download when you start this project. Let's dive in and start coding. First things first, let's set up our construct game, our new project right here. I want to make sure before I do anything that I am logged into construct. You can absolutely complete this project without being logged in, but we want to log in so everything gets saved properly, everything gets tied together properly. So make sure you're logged in. It'll give you some extra events as well, which you might need if you want to expand on your game and make it nice and big. I'm gonna create a new project. I'm gonna go ahead and call this um, forest ninja RPG because it's going to be held in a forest and it is a ninja that's going to be the main character and it's a role playing game. All of these settings are going to leave the same just alone just like this but I'm going to make sure that optimize for pixel art is checked because I'm going to be using pixel art in my game. Let's create the project. All right, so we have our first layout here. It is completely blank and we want to set up a few things before we actually start adding anything to the game. We're gonna change some settings. So with the layout selected, I'm gonna go down here and make sure show grid is turned on and snap to grid is turned on. That way I have these squares and when I add things in, they'll snap to the center of these squares. Super important, it's not gonna break anything if you don't do this, but we want to do this. The next thing that we want to change and we want to make sure is identical is we're gonna change our grid size to be 16 by 16. This is because all of the art is going to be 16 by 16, so we want these grids to also be 16 by 16 so that our art fits in the grids and we get a sense of scope and scale of our um, level here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and let, rename this layout to be Lily Cove City. Why Lily Cove City? Well, because Lily Cove in Pokemon is kind of an island city and ours is gonna be an island. It's gonna be little islands with water all around it. Now, if you're making the prison and dungeon grimy kind of game, then you're obviously not gonna call your first you know, level Lily Cove City. You might call it level one or dungeon level one or something like that. Now we're gonna add two objects to our game. These are not going to be visu visual objects. These are going to be objects of control types. We're gonna use the keyboard and the mouse, so we need to add those into our game. So right click, insert new object. I'm gonna go ahead and search for keyboard, double click to add it in. We can see the keyboard is added to our object types here inside of our project pane. And we're gonna do the same thing for the mouse. The mouse is how we're gonna aim and shoot. The keyboard is going to be how we move. Now that we have our basic layout set up here, I want to save the project. So I'm gonna to go to menu, project, save as, and I am going to use cloud saves because I want this project available on any computer I go to, not just this one. So I'm gonna click cloud save, I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Gmail account that is tied to this construct account. And I'm going to save my game in Google Drive. If you don't have a Google account, you can use a different type of account, different type of cloud system, whether it's OneDrive or Dropbox. I like cloud saves because I can move this game from one computer to the next and not have to worry that it's not saved and I don't have all my files or anything like that. Now it's saved, we can move into the next part, which is actually adding our player in. 